Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we receive the fresh anointing from you now. We receive the anointing to pray, to prosper, to live a pure life, to excel and to live long. Thank you Father for fresh anointing in Jesus' name. Father we lift up our hands in agreement and chain prayer of faith with all the servant of God in this room, because it is written that two is better than one. One shall chase a thousand, but two shall... We shoot down all the network of demons gathering to resist our prayers. We rebuke and bind all the controlling forces of darkness standing against our prayers tonight. It is written in Isaiah 54, 15, Behold they shall surely gather, but gather not by you, whosoever shall gather against thee shall fall for thy sake. Therefore, we command all existing forces of darkness gathering against us to fall into the bottomless pit and never rise again in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I command your power in our tongue for the manifestation of all that we say here tonight. We command our tongue to become fire to consume all the powers of darkness standing against our life and against our prayers tonight. As we speak, let the manifestation come immediately in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We raise a Holy Ghost standard against the Prince of the Power of the Air and all the host of darkness in the air, on the land, and on the sea. What is happening this night? The weather is not so good for us to operate. I sense some group of people praying at a distance. We must do something to stop them. But what are we going to do leader? We will send them arrow of sleepiness and weakness in their midst so they all become weak and sleepy. In that way, they won't be able to continue firing strong prayers towards us again. Once we do that, they will begin to pray astray and there will be confusion in the camp of our enemies. We must finish what we assembled for. We can't allow them stop us. Our job is to influence and oppress everyone in this area. Everyone else is sleeping. I don't know why this particular group of 8 persons fellowship keeps hosting intense midnight prayer every time. Why are they so keen in holding prayers? Their prayers is interrupting and interfering with our meetings. We can't achieve or do much as long as they are still clapping and singing praises to that power they worship. You need to The words that come out of their mouth is like brimstone, it carries fire with it. And it's so powerful that it can reduce a mountain to ashes. Seems to me, they worship a higher and supreme power. Every clapping hands, weaken, every singing and praying lips, close, every open eyes, shut. Now sleep, sleep, sleep. Brother Joseph, what is going on with all of you? Why did you all started sleeping suddenly? You must all resist the devil who is sending sleep to your eye and weakening your strength. Keep clapping those hands, don't give in to sleep children of the most- Okay, we are clapping our hands. Every sleep entering my eyes, I come against you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sister Mary, I'm trying my best not to sleep, but the urge is too strong. I think I need to find a place and sleep, or better still, let's round off quickly and go home. How can you say that brother Joseph? Are you now telling me that you are controlled by your flesh? Go immediately and wash your face with cold water. It will help. Okay. I have washed my face with cold water. Now I can return to the fellowship more alert and awake. I won't allow sleep to enter my eyes again. In the powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come against Satan, principalities, powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, and all the spiritual wickedness in high and low places and all levels of demonic powers set against us from the air, the land, the sea, beneath the sea. We use the precious blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost against them. We command them to stumble and fall, somersault and die. Be defeated in the spirit and in the physical in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah. Ah. What is going on? Aha. My chest. We can't continue this night. It's too dangerous. Let us go home. I have to go and rest. The spiritual bullet from that eight-man fellowship prayer group is too strong and frequent. We will convey another meeting later. Bye. I have to get ready to go to work. Who knows if my sister is back from the all-night fellowship she went yesterday. Sister Mary, you are back home. I was kind of worried for you. Good morning, Angela. How are you this morning? I hope you slept well. Why do you have to be worried for me? I went to the house of God my father to pray to him. Haven't you heard in Psalm chapter 91, that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty God, he will be his refuge and his fortress. Him alone- I know big sis. I was only worried because I'm human. 
Anyways, how was the fellowship? I hope you prayed for me. Don't tell me you didn't remember me in your prayers. Of course my little sister. I sure did remember you and our entire family when I was praying. That's good to hear. I'm going to work once I take my shower and dress up. Okay, dear. You go ahead. May the peace of God go with you as you step your feet out today. I cover your going out and your coming in with the blood of Jesus Christ. I surround you with the fire of the Holy Ghost. No weapon fashioned against you will ever prosper and every tongue that rises up against you in judgment shall be- Amen, amen, amen to you prayers. Thank you so much, big sis. Sister Mary, I came to tell you I'm leaving the house now. I will see you in the evening when I come back from work. Okay, my dear sister. Bye. Bye. Our last meeting was a total disaster. We couldn't perform the usual things we used to do in our meeting because of that group of eight people praying. It was a very terrible experience. The worst of its kind. I have never seen a thing like that since I joined. Our next meeting will be in three days time. We must make available a living human sacrifice to the great oracle. I will call my boys to help me arrange for it as quickly as possible. Okay, that's amazing. The earlier we arrange for it, the better for us. See you at the meeting. Hello, Mark. I want to see you in my office today. I have a job for you. I want the job delivered latest by tomorrow evening. How much is here? How many of them do you need? I need four of them. Any gender is okay, but females will be more appreciated. I want you to do a clean job. Make sure you do a clean job. Leave no traces behind. Okay, boss. I will contact you as soon as they are ready. I will be waiting for your call. Wallace, we have to park our bus here and wait for passengers to arrive. Once we have gotten up to four passengers into the vehicle, we will move. Five minutes into the journey, you bring out the gaseous substance and spray it into the air, pretend as if you are spraying it on yourself so none of them will suspect you. Don't forget. Someone is coming towards here. Maybe she wants to enter our bus. Let's talk to her. Please excuse me, you blocking my way. Hello, we are going to town center, we have empty seats. You can enter our bus so we can take you. I'm sorry, but I do not want to enter your bus. The one over there is the bus going to my destination. Not again. We lost this passenger again. I don't think our plans will succeed if we continue waiting here. Let's move around the town. We can be picking up passengers on our way. Once they are up to the number of people we want, we will execute our plans. That sounds like a good idea to me. I have been standing here for half an hour. I hope a bus going my direction will come out now so I can enter. Oh I'm so lucky, now the bus going my way has arrived. I think I should enter this bus. No no I will wait for the next one coming soon. Is anyone going to town? Yes, I'm going to town. I'm going to town as well. Okay then, hop into the car let us go. Oh thank you. It's time for me to spray the substance in the air so they can all become unconscious. <sighs> yes, I can see the substance is taking effect on them gradually. Soon they will sleep off and we will take them to the destination where they will be used. Our great oracle, we greet you, we have come before you this hour. Make us to be very rich and prosperous. Our great oracle, we ask that you give us dominion over our territory. Great oracle, make us to be very powerful in this neighborhood. Great oracle, we want to be greater than the people around us in everything. Thank you our great oracle, because we know, you have heard our request, and we will keep sacrificing to you always. Mark. Call the man quickly to come and carry them before the effect of the substance begins to wear off from their system. I have called him already. He is on his way to this place. Okay. That's good. Oh, there he is. He came with only three females. Come over here, let's talk. Okay. They are three not four. Yes. We couldn't get up to four. It was getting too risky. We had to come with the ones we have. Okay then. That's the money my leader asked me to give to you guys. Thank your leader for us. It's getting late and my sister is not yet back from her work. She ought to have come home by now. This is unlike her. I hope all is well with her. I have tried calling her cell phone, but it's switched off. What should I do? 
and today is our all-night fellowship in the church. How can I leave without making sure she is home safely? Let me go outside and wait for her. Now I'm getting worried. I have a bad feeling about this. She has never stayed out late till this time. Should I go to the police station and report it to them? Yes. I better go now and tell them my sister is missing. I will see you later. Let me know why this lady is here, then I will come back to what you are saying. So, how can we help you? Officers, I think my sister might be missing. Missing? Why do you say so? Because her number is totally switched off and she left the house for her workplace since morning. I even called her workplace, and they said she didn't come to work today. I was surprised because when she left the house, she told me she was going to work. My dear, we understand that you are concerned for your sister. But our policy is to wait for 24 hours before we can declare a person missing. In the meantime, we will give you papers to make a statement. So nothing can be done to look for her until after 24 hours? Yes. From tomorrow morning, if she's still not home by then, we can say she's actually missing. For all we know, she might be somewhere and she might still walk home as we speak. Okay. I guess I will go home and wait for her. Hopefully she will return home and I wouldn't need to come back again. We hope so too. Can you imagine what the police are saying? They can't help look for her. Until it's 24 hours she was last seen by someone. She is still not home. I thought she would be back by the time I return from the station. I'm so confused right now. What should I do again? My fellowship group has been calling me non-stop. The prayers are about to begin. What should I do? Should I go or should I stay back and wait for her? I think I shouldn't miss the group prayers because of this. Let me go to the church and commit everything to God's hands. He alone has the final say over our life. I have a bad feeling that my sister is in great danger. My heart is troubled. I will pray for her to return to me, whole and healthy, by tomorrow morning after all. Even if I stay here this night, there is nothing much I can do to help find her until it's morning like the officer had said. Oh, Sister Mary, you made it to the fellowship. We were about to begin the prayers. We were all worried for your sister. Any good news? No news yet. The police says they won't begin looking for her until it is over 24 hours of her disappearance. That's ridiculous. There's nothing much we can do now except to pray for her to return home safely by morning. Let's begin the prayers. That's true. We have to commit her whereabouts into God's holy hands. That he breaks every hand holding her captive. Amen, amen, amen. Leader. The first sacrifice is ready. Okay, let's proceed. Brandy. Yes, leader. What should I do? Put her on the table. Okay, leader. Bring the next person. Okay. Oh Lord, put confusion in the camp of our enemies. Oh Lord, send your thunder fire to the coven of every blood-sucking demons in the four corners of the earth. Amen. My sister's head will not be used for sacrifice in Jesus' name. I cover my sister with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I seal and surround my sister Angela with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Father you said touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Therefore, I command every powers of the enemy that had held my sister captive in places of darkness, death, destruction, in places of sorrow, suffering, confusion, wickedness, be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Je I command my sister to fly out of all captivity in Jesus' name. I command my sister to come out from all prisons of the devil. O Lord, hide my sister under your wings. Send your battle axe to every places that your children are held captive. Let them jump out of the valley of affliction. Let them climb down from the mountain of affliction. Let them swim out of river of affliction. Deliver my sister from the hands of her enemies trying to destroy her life. Let every chains binding my sister be broken. Let every enchantment against her be destroyed. Amen. What is going on here? Who are these people I see surrounding this place? And why is she regaining her consciousness? The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ save me. Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Jesus. What is this? Who brought this girl here to spoil things for us? Who brought her into our shrine? Ah, my chest. I have to find my way to escape from this place. Choo. Choo. I recognize you. You are the girl from the bus I entered. 
How did we get here? I don't know. Let's escape from this place now that they are weak. Okay quick let's run. They are coming after us. Come back here the two of you. How did this happen? How did she regain her strength when I was performing the sacrifice? I was surprised myself to see her calling that name. Leader, do something. We can't stop the sacrifice halfway. Let's see what happened. Reveal what happened to us at once. So this is what happened. This same group of eight persons fellowship is praying again this night. Holy no Ghost wonder. Fire. Now I Holy understand why that girl was able Holy to regain Ghost strength fire. when I was about Every to sacrifice her. She the drew strength from the group. I'm so exhausted. Their prayers is draining my energy. I can feel their presence around here. We can't continue the meeting today. Let's go home. We schedule again next time. I feel weakened by their prayers too. Our leader is right. Let's schedule again next time. Bye. But the girls are escaping. Brandy go catch them. I can't. My energy is drained already. I don't have strength go after them. Besides, they must have reached out to people for help. We are still in the forest. Let's keep going. We will find help soon. Okay. God please send us help. So are you going home straight or to the police station? I'm confused. I might go straight to the police station. It's already 24 hours. I will suggest you go home first and check if she returned home when you left last night. I guess you are right. I will go with you. Okay. Thank you so much for your help. She hasn't yet returned. The house is empty. Nobody is home. Let's go to the station then. Brother Joseph, look over there. There she is. My sister Angela is back. Big sis I'm back. Join us and thank this our God. He saved us from the shackles of bondage of darkness and death. Brother Joseph, let's go find out what happened. Okay. So sister Mary, that was how it all happened. Myself and this lady here, would have been dead by now, if not for the intervention of the Holy Spirit. The first girl that went in before us, was wasted by those evil and wicked people. When it got to my turn, they man became weak and paralyzed. He started shouting his chest was painful. He fell to the ground. I regained strength, and started pleading the blood of Jesus Christ to save me. The more I called on Jesus, the weaker they became. So we were able to escape. They couldn't run after us because they were all weak. Oh my goodness Lord. Our God is so faithful. Thank you Lord Jesus for bringing my sister home safely. Thank you for not allowing the gate of hellfire to prevail over her life. Thank you Lord Jesus. I have not gotten myself fully after what happened the last time we had our meetings. Those eight persons fellowship will not allow us to host our meetings as usual. Because each time we try to, their prayers will interrupt us in the spiritual realm and we won't make any progress. What should we do? Maybe we should move our meeting venue far away from them, so their prayers can't interrupt us again. You have been warned. Repent from your evil ways now before it's too late. If you don't repent, soon, you shall face the consequences. What is this? Is my imagination deceiving me? Everything is ready. We are waiting for the leader to arrive. Okay, good. Have you tried calling him? Oh, there he comes. But leader, why are you dressed up like this? Aren't you going to change into the usual clothes for the meeting? No, I came to let you people know that I have decided to quit this evil society. I have decided I will give my life to Christ, instead of constantly sacrificing innocent human beings like me in the altar of Satan. i rather go and win souls for Christ. What, leader you can't do that. We are all in this together and no one is going anywhere. I'm going with him too. I was warned in my dream last night to repent from this. Same with me. I was warned severally before. I quit. Nobody is going anywhere. Ah, my chest. Help me. Let's leave this place. It's a pity we lost him. It's time for us to give our lives to Christ. There is no gain in this. We are here today to give our lives to Christ. We have sinned in so many ways but we have realized our mistakes. We are asking for the forgiveness of our sins. 